Hey YouTube, you joined me today on my lunch break and I'm going to talk about possibly one of my favourite wild foods which I haven't covered yet. Um, it's not one that I think many people associate as a wild food but it's a very important resource for wildlife year round uh, but particularly during winter and it is the hawthorn. It's um, a very hardy plant and it has fruit year round. Uh, quite often I've seen uh, birds defending it from other birds uh, to protect their larder for the rest of the year as it were. And they're small, red fruit, uh, can be hard or soft fruited depending on how ripe they are and how long they've been on the tree. And that one's gone rotten. Let's find one that's not. Again. Huh. I should have really looked first, shouldn't I, YouTube? Oh well. Find a harder bodied one. Possibly why this tree is still covered, damaged by the frost. There we go. That's a nice one. You can see just pale, fleshy fruit, large stone. It's sort of starchy, potato-y flavour, like sweet potato almost, but apple-y. Um, you can actually use them as rootstock um, for apple and pear trees, and um, as far as I'm aware they're related to roses as well. They have lovely, in the spring, white flowers that come out, and this whole thing will be covered in Mayflower. But I like them for the little whores, which is for H A W. And really, very few people are aware that they are edible. And they're never going to be a major resource. They're not sweet enough to really make into anything alcoholic. They're not um, flavorsome enough to use as a flavoring in other ingredients. But they're a pleasant little resource to be aware of. And that I've got to say, it's probably one of my favourite trees, just because it's, it's so commonly used in hedgerows um, and is everywhere. Um, you can, like I said, use it for rootstock. Um, there's lots of various folklore from various places attached to it. But um, one thing I've not seen widely reported is... Um, the naming of um, its leaves, bread and cheese. Um, I'm not really sure where that comes from. Um, I just know that's what they were called. Um, and you can eat in spring the young, fresh shoots and leaves as well. Um, and they're quite a flavoursome little salad dish. So maybe it comes from the fact that they were a staple like bread and cheese was to people. Or well, possibly from birdsong. But... Um, there it is, something that uh, is still fruiting, still colourful, even in the middle of January. Is, um has fruit on it year round, which is why it's so good for wildlife. And is often a very good place to lie up and watch for birds, because they love hawthorn. And so, I hope that's just a little bit of bushcraft for you for the winter. Beautiful hawthorn tree. And I shall be back when it is all in bloom and do another video. Thanks very much, YouTube. Bye.